hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hey y'all hey my name is Raquel but please call me Ray on this channel we intentionally do all things budgeting including budget with me's cash envelopes and sinking fund stuffings and savings challenges now if that type of content interests you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below to join the savers family I would love to have you so today guys we will be doing my first budget closeout Yes, we will be closing out the month of May. We will see how I did with my financial goals for the month as well. And we will see how much I saved in my savings challenges. Now let's get started. <music> And what I'm going to do, guys, is just check to make sure that I have checked off. I know I've paid all my bills, but I just want to check to make sure they have all been checked off. Give me one moment. So let's see here. Okay, great. They have all been checked off. Um, I particularly don't worry about the actual um, cash envelopes transactions. Those are what they are. But I also want to go ahead real quick and count how many no spins I had so that I can notate those as well. So, real quick, 7 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. I had 20 no spins. So I'm going to notate that and we're going to go ahead and move on. So next we are moving on to my May monthly budget. And I did do a budget with me for the month of May um, showing my setup and I will link that in the iCards and in the description box if you want to check out that video but um, for the May budget we um, expected $3,345 for the month and our actual amount that came in was a little bit over that it was $3,461 giving us an excess of $116 for the month. So next what I have is my bills and expenses. I have what I budgeted and I have what the actual amount is. So what I'm going to do is go off camera real quick and note um, what bills and expenses I was on point on, which ones I went over or which ones I was under budget on. So give me one moment. Okay, guys, what I did was I went through each of my bills and expenses and noted what areas I went over on or which areas I budgeted correctly for or those that I was under on. The ones sinking funds stayed the same, cash envelopes stayed the same. My challenge, I budgeted $162 and it was actually $89. My student loan stayed the same. My Roth IRA stayed the same. My personal loan, I budgeted $115, but I was over by one cent. Cable and internet, um, I budgeted $139. The actual bill was $139.41. Our sales, I budgeted 54. The bill was only 52.83. Insurance stayed the same. Quicksilver credit card, Freedom, and Walmart stayed the same. Pick Monkey, I budgeted eight, but it was actually 8.59. Netflix, I budgeted 20. It was actually 19.58. Gas, I budgeted 68. It was 67.30. Electric, I was a little under budget. I'm at $3.45. Water, I was a lot under budget. I budgeted 70. The bill was 53.20. Taxes, guys, remember, I totally failed to um, budget for our bill for getting our taxes done. The bill was at 165. Good thing we had a cushion in our um, checking account for that. And the debt snowball, I budgeted 500. And it was actually $527 that I put toward my... Um, not only our um, window nation bill that is paid off, but also a little bit went to um, the Quicksilver credit card. So what I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and add these up and we're going to move to my next step. Okay, guys, the um, actual um, amount that my bills and expenses came up to was 3000 $442.45. And what we're going to go ahead and do is move over to my summary page real quick and note these numbers here. So my expected income, 
and then my bills and expenses. So my expected um, income, I budgeted $3,345. And my expected bills and expenses, of course, was the same amount, guys, because as you know, I do a zero-based budget. And then the actual for that, for my income, was $3,461. And my bills and expenses, the actual for that was $3,000. $442.45. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So $3,461 minus $3,442.45. Um, that put me in a positive of $18.55. Okay, great. So guys, what we are going to go ahead and do now is um, move to counting how much I saved in my savings challenges. So one moment. So as most of you may know, I do five different savings challenges and I'm gonna show you guys what those are real quick. I do the zero checking account savings challenge, the $1 savings challenge, the $5 savings challenge, paycheck bingo and leftover in the leftover savings challenge. So the first thing we are going to do is go ahead and calculate real quick how much I saved in a zero checking account savings challenge. So on the first, I transferred $5 and 14 cent. On the eighth, I transferred $5 and 57 cent. On the 15th, I transferred $5, I'm sorry, $8 and 89 cent. On the 22nd, $5 and 11 cent. And on the 29th, $7 and 62 cent. For a total of $32 and 33 cent. So that is how much I saved for that challenge. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my dollars for the $1 savings challenge to see how much I saved. Now guys, I am a cash envelope spender. So these, this challenge, this challenge and a leftover challenge has everything to do with my cash envelopes. What I don't spend goes into the leftover and anytime I get change um, that is either a one or a five, it goes into those challenges. So. Let's see how much I have in ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Awesome. Set that right there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna set it right here. So we had twenty-six dollars. Next, let's go ahead and pull out my five dollars. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And next we have Paycheck Bingo. And for all of you guys doing bingo with me, as you guys know, last month we pulled $7 and then we pulled $82 for a total of $89. So let's go ahead and make sure I have this in here. And guys, once I'm done counting all of this money, it is going into the bank. So let's make sure we have 89 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. And guys, I think we're also, for those of you who are doing Paycheck Bingo, I think we are nearing the halfway point of our um, $800. So good job to you guys who have been, you know, keeping up with doing this. Wait a minute. I hate when that does that. Okay. And then last but not least, oh, you know what? One moment. Let's put 89 here. And last but not least is my leftover savings challenge. And anytime I have money left over in my envelopes, and let me show you guys really quick, because I do an update in regards to this challenge when I do my check-ins. And per my check-in, let's see real quick. Per my check-in, so between the 1st and the 14th, I saved 180, and between the 15th and the 31st, I saved $80, so I should have $260 here, guys. So, let's go back. Let's check to make sure I have that amount. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we do have $260 that we saved for the month of May in our leftover 
savings challenge. So go ahead and set that there. And so let's go ahead and calculate how much I have. 32, 33, 26, 45, 89, and 260. For the month of May, for all of my challenges, I say $452.33. That is awesome. So what I want to do next is go ahead and put this on my tracker. I'm going to use this little box here as my savings challenge box. Okay, great. So what I want to do real quick, and I'm going to let you guys go, is I want to go ahead and go through my goals that I have for the month of May to see um, which ones I achieved and which ones I didn't. So actually for one of my goals was $200 um, with savings challenges, I did accomplish that goal. I actually saved 452 One no spend week, which was um, five three through five nine. I achieved that one as well. Another goal was for uh, me and my husband to file our taxes. We did that as well. Another goal was to complete our debt snowball of at least five hundred dollars. We did that, and we actually um, did five hundred and twenty seven dollars. And the last goal was to pay off one donation, which we did. The only uh, mishap we had for the month um, was that I unfortunately forgot to budget um, for the amount that it was going to cost us to file our taxes. With that, I'm going to go ahead and um, close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Also, let me know how you guys are doing with your budgets. If you are new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button before you leave. I am going to see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. God bless. Bye, guys.